Welcome to the Learn Biology Podcast, where we break down complex biological concepts and make them easy to understand. In this episode, we're going to be talking about nucleic acids, the molecules that store and transmit genetic information in all living organisms. Let's dive in. Nucleic acids are large biomolecules that store and transmit genetic information in all living organisms. They are made up of smaller units called nucleotides, which consist of a sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. The two main types of nucleic acids are RNA, which stands for ribonucleic acid, and DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is a double-stranded nucleic acid that stores genetic information. It looks like a twisted ladder, which is called a double helix. DNA is made up of nucleotides that have a deoxyribose sugar, a phosphate, and a nitrogenous base. The nitrogenous bases in DNA are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, also known as A, G, C, and T. Adenine and guanine are known as purines and have a double ring structure, while cytosine and thymine are known as pyrimidines and have a single ring structure. In DNA, a pairs with T through two hydrogen bonds and G pairs with C through three hydrogen bonds. The genetic code in DNA is stored in the A, T, G, and C nucleotides. Since the base pairs of the DNA molecule are held together by weak hydrogen bonds, the cell can easily open the DNA molecule to read the code. The sugar phosphate backbone of the DNA, which is the outside of the double helix, is very strong and held together by a covalent bond called a phosphodiester bond. The two strands of DNA run in opposite directions. This is known as antiparallel. DNA stores the genetic code in the form of genes. In general, genes are regions of DNA that encode information to make proteins. Each protein, then, has a corresponding gene. RNA is another type of nucleic acid. However, There are many differences between RNA and DNA. One major difference is that RNA is made using the sugar ribose, not deoxyribose that is found in DNA. The nitrogenous bases in RNA also differ slightly compared to DNA. RNA uses the bases adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil, or A, G, C, and U. It is important to note that in RNA, uracil replaces thymine that is found in DNA. Another difference between RNA and DNA is that RNA is a single-stranded nucleic acid and DNA is double-stranded. One example of RNA is called mRNA or messenger RNA. When a gene is turned on, an mRNA copy is generated, which is a messenger that carries the code to make a protein to the ribosomes. The information is then used to synthesize or make the protein. In conclusion, Nucleic acids are large biomolecules that store and transmit genetic information in all living organisms. They are made of nucleotides, which consist of a sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. RNA and DNA are the two main types of nucleic acids, with DNA storing genetic information and mRNA relaying the message of how to make proteins. And that concludes our episode on nucleic acids. We hope you have a better understanding of RNA and DNA, their similarities and differences. Join us next time on the Learn Biology podcast for more exciting topics in the world of biology. Thank you for listening to the Learn Biology podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a rating and review. See you next time.